Understanding, Motion to Dismiss, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a legal term that often confuses English learners, motion to dismiss. This term is commonly used in legal contexts, especially in court cases in the United States. So, if you're interested in legal English or just want to expand your vocabulary, this video is for you. A motion to dismiss is a formal request made by a defendant in a legal case. This request is made to a court, asking the judge to dismiss a case because there are legal reasons why the case should not proceed. It's important to understand that this motion is based on legal arguments, not on the facts of the case itself. This motion is typically used in the early stages of a court case. It can be based on various reasons like lack of jurisdiction. The court does not have the power to make legal decisions in this case. Improper service of process. The defendant was not correctly notified of the legal action. Failure to state a claim. The complaint does not legally justify a lawsuit. When a motion to dismiss is filed, there are a few possible outcomes. 1. Motion granted. The case is dismissed and will not proceed further. 2. Motion denied. The case continues through the legal process. 3. Motion granted in part. Some parts of the case may be dismissed, while others continue. Understanding a motion to dismiss is crucial for anyone studying legal English. It's a fundamental concept in the judicial system, especially in common law countries like the United States. Grasping such terms can greatly enhance your understanding of legal proceedings and documents. We hope this video has been helpful in clarifying the meaning and usage of motion to dismiss in legal English. Remember, legal terms can be complex, but with patience and practice, you can master them. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning content.